Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Mike with TheGentlemanRacer.com, and we get all kinds of stuff sent to the office here they want us to check out. And the latest was this Hudway Drive. It is a basically a portable, universal, heads-up display you can put in almost any car. And now, they just sent this to me. This wasn't like a sponsored thing or anything. It just it showed up in the mail along with a bunch of other stuff. I've got some other things we're going to do some review videos on just because they're kind of the more interesting things that arrived. And I thought this would be really cool if you had an older car and you wanted to update the technology or for some reason if your car didn't come with a heads-up display but you just wanted to add one, this could be a viable option. Now, it claims that it just connects to your smartphone. It gives you your directions. It gives you your speed. There also seems to be some type of upgrade you can add a... Um, plug for your OBD2 scanner so it'll send you information on the vehicle as well uh, but let's open it up and check it out real quick and see what the unit looks like um, the packaging is very nice I know the company was doing a Kickstarter it looked like on this before but I don't really don't really have any info on how the Kickstarter went but I guess you can buy these online now they're a couple hundred dollars um, so yeah this is this is what the unit looks like this little screen folds up and down and can be adjusted, I guess, to whatever the angle of your uh, your dashboard is. Um, we've got sticker on the bottom here, like some 3M double-sided tape, so you can stick this to the dash of your car. And then this is this little simulated message that will peel off that just shows kind of some of the information that you can see on your kind of portable heads-up display. Uh, included with this one, which is the basic package, is... Uh, basically a power cable um, that's a USB powered cable, um, an audio cable, I guess so you can attach it to your car's audio system, and they include a little USB uh, to cigarette lighter adapter that gives you two USB ports if you don't have it, which a lot of older cars aren't going to have the USB port, so the cigarette lighter adapter could come in handy. Now, I'm going to go compare this to a car that I have I'm doing a review for that we, we've got a brand new Cadillac that has a factory heads-up display, so we can kind of see what the two look like side by side. And uh, let's go check it out what it looks like in the car. Okay, guys, so I'm here in the Cadillac. I've got the Hudway sitting on the dash, plugged into the USB port. It's all up and running. I've connected it to the app. The app's pretty cool. It's very simple. Uh, it just connects via Bluetooth and lets you control what the display looks like. Right now it's set up on the default, which gives you the average speed, current speed, um, maximum speed, and it also gives you the time and the temperature. So just kind of your basic info. Uh, I'm gonna set it up like this way so I can show you the difference between the Hudway's brightness and display and the OEM Cadillac heads up display. So if you're wondering what it looks like compared to a factory heads up display as far as brightness and clarity, you kind of get a chance to see that. The other thing that I kind of was thinking about could be an issue is that it uses the Bluetooth to connect obviously to the Hudway to display everything, including your speed and all that, which means you may lose the functionality of plugging or having your phone connect to your radio for music and phone calls. So that could be an inconvenience. You may want to weigh the balance of which is going to be more important to you, having a heads up display for your speed and directions or having your music and your phone wirelessly connected to another Bluetooth device. So something to keep in mind when you're looking at adding this type of thing to your vehicle. Um, I did notice on my drive over here that the GPS from the phone compared to the vehicle was off by about a mile per hour. So something else to keep in mind, the GPS may be slightly different than your actual uh, speed. Don't know what's off, whether it's the car that's off or it's the GPS and the phone that's off, but it was a mile per hour difference, not, not a huge deal. But let's take it for a drive and look at actually the display and see what the Hudaway looks like in everyday use, especially out here on a bright, sunny day. So here is the Hudway unit just sitting on the dash um, in kind of just a, a position that it won't move too much uh, when driving. You can see there's the OEM factory Cadillac heads up display. And then here is the Hudway. Uh, you can see there's quite a difference in brightness and clarity. Uh, just something to keep in mind when you are thinking about adding one of these systems to your car is that it's not quite the same. It also depends on where you can position on your dash and what's going to be in the background as far as reflections and things like that. As you can see, I'm getting some of the hood and some of the dashboard with just in this position, uh, while obviously the heads-up display is designed to be in the windshield on the, on the Cadillac from the factory. So up in this position would be more in the windshield, but then you would also have to deal with having a large chunk of plastic sitting up here on the dash, which could inhibit your view a little bit. Uh, but let's take it for a drive and see what it looks like 
in motion. So as you can see, it does display your speed, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's very functional. Again, you would be using your, your Bluetooth connection, so that could be a problem. I tried to film this with the GoPro, but the GoPro did not like the uh, HUDway. It was very difficult for it to, to see the actual uh, display, so the phone seems to be working better. But as you can see, the clarity and brightness on a factory heads-up display is drastically different. So I'm going to head back to the office and wrap this up. All right, guys, so I just wanted to do a quick wrap-up on the Hudway Drive. Super easy to use. Um, does everything they claim it'll do, which I was really impressed with. A lot of these gadgets come in, and they're kind of pie in the sky, but they don't really deliver. This one actually does do everything they say it will do. Two biggest complaints with it are the brightness of the screen and the bright daylight. It is very hard to see. I think a lot of that will depend on what vehicle you're putting it in, the color of the dash, the angle of the windshield, what's behind it, the reflections that you're getting. I think that'll affect it a lot. So it could vary depending on what vehicle you're putting it in. But if your expectation is that it'll be as bright as a factory H, uh, heads up display, it's just not going to be as bright. There's just no way to do that uh, based on just the limitations of the technology. Uh, the other thing too is it uses the Bluetooth, which is great, uh, but unless you hook up this extra port uh, for the audio out to go to your radio, it, it kind of limits what you can do with the Bluetooth. Um, it also, this would require you taking your dash apart or running wires to connect it to the back of your radio or to another auxiliary port or something to get the audio into the radio. Um, if you do that, then you can use this and still stream everything through your radio for music and the directions and all that stuff. If not, you have to rely on the phone as far as, you know, audio callouts for directions and things like that. So that's kind of a limitation. I would like to see a little bit easier integration, perhaps, of a way to make this work with either an external speaker or some type of FM tuner or something like that that would maybe allow you to just to use this as a single unit and still stream your music and do everything without having to run two wires because... The power wire is one thing, but then the other wire to the back of the radio is a whole nother installation that you'd have to do, and that would make it a little bit trickier. But overall, um, it does everything they say it'll do. It is only $229, which is a pretty good value for what it does do. And if you are looking to add some you know, new technology to an older car, Hudway Drive actually does it pretty well. So I will link down below. It's a uh, hudway.co uh, for more information if you want to check out you know, all the details, all the specs, ordering information. Uh, again, this isn't a sponsored video. They just sent this out to have me play with it and see how I thought of it. And like I said, it's pretty cool. Um, check out the link down below. And if you have any questions, post them down below. I'll be happy to answer them as best I can. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.